Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and you can find me on all social media outlet channels as Knit Plan Jess. So welcome to my channel. So glad for you guys to join me for a daily plan with me for January 25th and 26th. And yes, I dated it up as June because why not? So we are going to be using the teeny florals, both the big and the classic. And I am challenging myself to use them together in one spread and basically use them for both days and see if I can create two very different spreads. So if you are interested in checking out how these spreads turn out, stay tuned. So before I get into why I'm doing a voiceover, I want to share with you my bujo. So you may have remembered on a previous video, I talked about whether I wanted to switch to a bullet journal daily or whether I wanted to uh, continue using my happy planner daily. Well, I decided for this week, I'm actually doing both. I'm doing double the work. Um, so for my bullet journal, I have set it up to where I have a weekly overview task page, and then I am Basically, every other page following is going to be a daily. So I have Monday and Tuesday because it is Tuesday, January the 24th when I recorded this video. So I really like how these are turning out now. Um, and while I do love the Bujo and I love the daily and the, the bullet journal, I will not be um, doing a daily bullet journal every single day this year because I do want to continue using the happy planner um, daily. I mean, happy planner is my one true love as is bullet journal, but anyways, I'll be sticking with the happy planner daily for the rest of this year. And maybe every so often I'll include a bullet journal daily for that as well. So the rest of the video is going to be sped up as I'm doing my daily because I made the stupidest mistake and I did not turn on my microphone when I went to record. It's rookie mistake. I knew better. I'm just clearly an idiot. So um, this is probably gonna be a very awkward looking video because clearly you can see my hands moving at times and it makes it look like I'm talking. But in fact, what I'm actually saying will not fall in line with what I'm <laughs> with the movement of my hands in the video. So I mentioned we're doing January 25th and 26th using teeny florals. Um, like I said, I want to combine both of the sticker books for each of the spreads, but I want each of the spreads to look very different. So as we always do, I start with my quote and I am using gold foil. So I was trying to decide what kind of sticker that I wanted to use. Um, I really like using the long vertical stickers, but I don't like putting them underneath of the quote on, when it's on the left side of the page. So I was trying to find um, like some big boxes that I could be able to put horizontally. Unfortunately, I really didn't find what I was looking for. And I end up doing a lot of flipping <laughs> during this early portion of the video. By the way, I just want to share because I'm very amused by it, but I am currently, as I'm doing this voiceover, knitting a potato. It's probably like the weirdest thing that I have ever knit before, but I am super excited. And the yarn that I'm actually using is a neutral or a, a natural colored yarn that is going to make it look like a peeled potato. Okay, now back onto my video. So I decided to go with this pink vertical decorative box and then I put a teal, turquoise, whatever color it is. Um, I always get those two mixed up. I put a, a tealer coise a box, a little square box. It's one of the ones that you fit like in the monthly because it has that little notch cut out of the corner. I just put that in there and then I covered up that little notch with a circle. And then I decided to use a checklist with one of those header boxes. I always like just kind of, kind of layering them over each other, just like I did. And then I was trying to decide what else that I wanted to use. So of course I need more functional boxes. And I got sidetracked because I found this really pretty foil, gold foil, um, kind of like a, almost reminded me of like a washi strip. And I decided that would be fun to decorate this box. So that's what I did. 
as I'm looking at it now, it's like the most random thing ever, but I kind of love it. I also went back and forth on some of the decorative florals that I wanted to use. So I did decide to use this little gold floral to kind of decorate up that box. But then I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do in the bottom left hand corner. And I decided against those florals mainly because I decided that I wanted to actually hoard those for a Bujo spread. And I'm probably going to do that Bujo spread for maybe like, I don't know, Wednesday or Thursday this week. Um, I then did a failed attempt at using a quote. I actually was kind of going back and forth between do I want to mix the foils because this one was actually a rose gold. And then I decided I don't want to mix the foils because I didn't want a rose gold right next to a gold box. So I just decided to layer then the boxes because it beautifully covers up the notch and like you know, you really wouldn't even know that that was not a regular square box by just looking at it. And that's honestly one reason why I love layering stickers, because you can give it a different illusion as to what kind of stickers that you are actually using. But then I found these amazing little small checklist boxes or checklists, and I decided that that was absolutely perfect for my checklist section right there. But I still wanted some decorative. So... I just kept on flipping until I found some little stickers that I decided to use. This video, I feel like I did a lot of flipping through this sticker book. Maybe that's why I didn't, I don't use a sticker book very often. I mean, it has a lot of really, really pretty stickers in it, but I feel like it's just a, more so a decorative sticker book than it is for functional. I don't know. Some of like the checklists kind of throw me off with how they look, but overall, I liked how the 25th turned out. And by the way, as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm looking at the date on the page and I'm just like, why did I write down June? Why? What is wrong with me? Okay, so now we are working on January 26th or Thursday, and I have moved over to the classic size sticker book because I was looking for this long vertical box. I love those vertical boxes so much, but I wanted to also kind of find some other stickers to pair with it. And I really wanted to keep with that teal lacoise, <laughs> that teal or turquoise, whatever. I think it's, I think that's actually a teal. Anyways, I wanted to stick with that teal and yellow and white kind of theme. So I found another little decorative circle that I could put over that yellow box with the notch because again, I didn't want that to, didn't want that notch to show. So again, you're layering stickers by giving them, by giving them a different illusion than what they actually are. Um, I did find a place to put that quote that I pulled off of the other spread. So I was really happy about that. But then it was just kind of deciding, okay, what other decorative stickers do I need? What kind of, what quote can I use? Um, I was actually looking through this one and I was, I was looking for the page of the quotes. And of course I got sidetracked by checklists because that's what I do, but I kept flipping through it and I could not find that stupid page full of the quotes in the rose gold. And then give it a minute because I realized that, oh, it's in the other sticker book. There we go. So I think the big has primarily gold, yellow gold, whereas the classic has both of them. I don't know, honestly, but I first picked out this one that says today is a new beginning. And then I decided I don't like the look of that. So that poor sticker went into the rip pile. You know, I don't feel bad about wasting stickers like that. It happens. It's not the end of the world. And I use this one that says dream instead. I think I liked it better because it also kind of went with that random full floral and foliage sticker that I happen to put next to it. And then I was just kind of finding some other stickers because I really wanted to do something in that bottom right, but I didn't want to just do a regular checklist. So I was trying to decide between 
um, like what other kinds of functional stickers can I use? And I settled on these two monthly boxes. So they're monthly because they have that stupid notch in the corner. I don't ever decorate my monthly, so I never use them for that. But by putting the circle sticker in between them, it makes them look like a regular box. See, got to make your stickers work for you. And then I decided to bring in the bright essentials because I figured that I'd be able to find like a red and a teal sticker. And oh, I actually found some fun icons in this one that I wanted to use. So I definitely went with the camera because I figured, okay, I'll use this box for photos that I need to take. And then I love these headers so much, but the headers are kind of a little difficult to use for the colored because they all say different things. And I wish that they all just said like plan or to do or something like that. So I ended up going with one of the white plan stickers. And then I used the teal sticker that says big plans because I will find some big plans to write in that box, I guess. I don't know. I'll make it work. And I was just trying to kind of decide, did I want any other icons? And then I saw this little water bottle and I have been doing horrible with drinking water. So I decided I needed to use this to be able to remind myself to drink water. So I figured I could just put it over this one and I'll just put a big old note, drink your water. And then I just trimmed it off. So then that way it will give it the illusion of going behind that vertical box. This is why I love cutting stickers. Like I will never feel bad about trimming down stickers because I want it to work on my spread. So there we go. June, <laughs> June, June, January 25th and January 26th is done. I really like how they turned out. And yes, I do fix the date. So it actually says January. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, my next video, I will definitely make sure to turn the microphone on so you can actually hear me talk in person during the video. So if you guys like these, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, let me know which one that you like best. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye! Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.